Welcome to our tutorial about the boss tool. Let's start with a sketch. Here's my rectangle. Two and a half inches by three quarters of an inch. Let's exit the sketch and activate the extrude command. Let's extrude by 2.5 inches and click OK. Now activate the shell command. Let's remove this face, this face, and this face. The thickness is currently at a tenth of an inch. Let's leave it at that value and OK. Now activate the fillet tool. We'll give our fillet a one inch radius for the inside fillet. And for the outside fillet, let's use a 1.1 inch radius. That'll compensate for the wall thickness. OK. And click OK. Now let's create a work plane. We'll offset it by half an inch. Now let's create a sketch on this plane. Oops, I created a sketch on the wrong face. OK, let's click the Sketch tool again. Select our plane. Project Geometry. Select this face. And let's finish the sketch. Now let's go to the Plastic Parts panel. From here I'll activate the Boss tool. If you don't see the Plastic Parts panel, right-click on the ribbon and select it from the Panels submenu. Here's the Boss icon. Let's stay on the Shape tab for now. Placement. We can choose From Sketch or On Point. Let's use From Sketch. Here's our point. Now let's go to the Head tab. We'll change the wall thickness, let's say one-tenth of an inch. The measurements on the Head tab are fairly self-explanatory. One thing I do want to show you, though, the section option here is the shank height. The shank is where the work plane sits. Let's check this out on our model. If we zoom in close, and now let's rotate our model 180 degrees. There we go. We can see that this is where the work plane is located. And that's what this area on the diagram refers to. Down below are draft options. Click the plus sign to expand this section. If you want your wall thickness to stay uniform, keep the inner and outer draft angle the same. First angle is the outer, and the second angle here is the inner draft angle. Underneath draft options are two end type options counter bore and counter sunk. Let's return to the shape tab now. Let's apply a fillet. We'll enter a radius value of 0 0.0625 and click OK. Here is our fillet. If I turn the model around, the same fillet is here as well. Let's double click Boss 1 to edit it again. The second icon on the left here, this gives us a thread option. The head tab now becomes a thread tab. This part of the boss holds the threaded end of the screw. Here we can choose hole options. But as you see, the actual hole doesn't have thread. From here we can select a depth type, through all for example. Here we've got the hole diameter, the thread diameter, and the draft angle down below. Let's click OK. You see here that the boss originates from the work plane. Here's our fillet underneath. Let's double click on boss 1 again and take a look at the rib options, the ribs tab. At the bottom of this section, we can select the angle of the rib. Let's say 45. And the rib turns at a 45 degree angle. Let's change it back to zero. Let's expand the fillet option section. We'll enter a sixteenth of an inch for my radius, 0 0.0625. At the top of the tab, we specify the number of ribs. Here's how it looks with five ribs. Let's restore it to two. The rest of the parameters on this tab are pretty much self-explanatory, but let me just show you one thing here. 
As you know, since we've got a one inch radius, the distance from the center of the thread to the wall is one inch. If we happen to have a fillet along this edge and the rib ends up intersecting with the fillet, you might end up with an error message. But fear not, generally that problem is fairly simple to fix. What you'd want to do is play with this dimension a little bit. Currently the value is 0.4 inches. Let's enter half an inch. Click OK. Now let's right click and hide work plane 1. Visibility. Double click on boss 1 and go back to the rib tab. Now let's try it with 1 inch. As you see the rib now extends to the wall. Let's double click and edit the boss again. Back to the ribs tab. Let's say I extend the rib too far behind the wall. We'll enter 1.3 inches here and click OK. You'll see that this section of the rib has disappeared. So keep that in mind. This concludes our tutorial about the boss tool.